one final elbow put him to sleep. Oh, how many e? Puff. Puff. Well, what a Pokemon reference in Muay Thai, huh? Because I guess they're anime characters, like Pokemon. Hey, YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Now, we have a lot of new faces on this channel, so welcome, homies. This is just me learning a little bit more about other sports and getting to know of the history a little bit. I used to be a former Olympian in Taekwondo at a very young age. So, with that all out of the way, let's just get right into the video. Let's get into it. Combat sports oh, man. are a universal human activity. Oh, I forgot Every how to say his name. Every country and culture has its own style. While some forms Wokow? haven't quite proved themselves Wokow? in the modern crucible of MMA, Muay Thai remains the foundation for movie? much of the modern striking game. While the fighting styles in Muay Thai grow more modern by the day, the culture Whoa, this looks of Muay like a Thai movie. is very old school. Fighters generally start as children hungry children right like seven or eight For years old fighting is the only way to earn their meals so they fight wow i forgot because, about that uh, they are they're so young so their only hope is that they can be a good boxer they can make money and they can support their family this My is goodness. their only way out i wonder what happens to the people aside, that don't make it it's the reality of poverty so okay. by the time a thai fighter is aging into their physical prime They've already been in the ring dozens of times. Interesting. Some of those children Boy, yeah. raised in the ring transcend the sport. Yeah, this guy was Ukao lit. Benchimek was born in the isolated province of Surin. Yes, yes. Bukau leaves home Bukau, for the capital baby. in search of better training and bigger fights. Yeah, this is crazy cool. This guy was awesome. Bukau enters the Toyota Cup in 2002. It was an eight-man, one-night Toyota Cup to crown the new Lumpani Stadium champion. Lumpani was the oldest and most prestigious arena in Thailand. Huh? Bukau's Muay Thai was classic to the point of classical. This is what Muay Thai looks like. Powerful and ponderous with as little wasted motion as possible. Yeah, A man, they go in. In the art of eight limbs. They go in, bro. Bukau battered three men in one night to be named the Lumpani Stadium Champion. That's, wow. And yet they're just, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. All those fights and they're still like, nothing happened. A Lumpani champion had unquestionable credentials and instant celebrity in Thailand. But Bukau wasn't happy Cow, being a big fish in the relatively small pond of Muay Thai. He sought to challenge himself on the international kickboxing scene. And yeah, they do so many other like leagues and this sports. This meant Bukau was down to six of his eight limbs as elbow strikes were disallowed in kickboxing. Right. Muay Thai. Not that it eight limbs. Bukau faced off setting. with Takayuki Kohiromaki. Right, is this when he was a wild card? This was when he was a wild card, right? The Japanese standout caught one of Bukau's kicks early, kicked him twice as he fell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's not Bukau respectful, bro. Angry. You're going to love him when he's angry. <laughs> Go. Oh yeah, this is awesome. The mauling he put on that man for the rest of the round is just the peak of brutal efficiency carried out by the human form. Oh man, and this became a rival? How many times did they fight? Did they fight like three or four times? It was a round Taka was lucky to survive. Problem was, there was also round two. Oh my goodness. I love this. We already know what happens, but it's always so exciting. It's just, I, I already forgot. Like the jumping and the hopscotch and, ooh, and there's a liver, right? Is that what? Oh no, the head. The head. The knee to the head. Despite his sublime display of violence, 
he was still a massive underdog in the final. The tournament champion from the year previous was here in the final again. Masato was a warrior. Yeah, because he was a wild card. He, I think a champion left and then he took his place. I think that's what it was, right? He entered the fight with an eye half swollen shut already. Masato so was wild. the fan favorite of the Japanese crowd. <gasps> These guys just take a beating. Is it only for Grand Prix? Bukau brutalized him with bodywork. Nice. Ooh. Teeped him across the ring. Dude, he looks normal. Like nothing knees. happened to him. The judges hoped Masato could come up with a miracle. Right, didn't they? Uh, it was a tie, right? It was a tie, then they had one more round. Wow, what a beating. An extra round only served to get their hero destroyed worse. Yeah, it was a hometown hero. What a crazy fight. Masato the respect. Was Love hospitalized. it. Bukau was the champion. Ooh, whoa. And then he just starts Game going around beating peeps. The way the clinch was refereed soon after. Down one of his favorite tools, Bukau was oh, defeated no. in the tournament final. Yeah, this by is Dutch kickboxer Andy Sauer. Ah, oh, the tram stamp guy. He could have been a two time back to back. A controversial fights, man. Oh, so nice, so nice. So much more entertaining than like UFC, you know? I feel like they have some kind of different spirit, you know? They're they're just like a different animal. Bukau Same had beast. No choice but to adapt. While punching was considered the weakest form of striking in Muay Thai, it worked pretty oh, well. Oh, I guess because of the gloves, well. right? The gl because the foot it took time is unprotected. To adjust. But Bukau was ready for the 2006 K1 Max Tournament. Right, Max equals Grand Prix. I gotta remember that. Wow. Wait. It, am I, is it? The opening or is K1 Max, Max and Muay Thai Yoshihiro is Grand Prix? Sato with a series of right hands. Jeez. Bukau ended the fight in the second when he caught a kick and yanked Sato into a mean Ooh. left hook. My goodness, man, my goodness. The second fight was with an Armenian slugger by the name of oh, yeah. Dago Drago. Dago Drago. Oh, this is where he took the loss. Bukau knew Drago wanted the slugfest that Sato just got. This time, Bukau mostly took him apart with his feet. Oh! Dude, I haven't seen a What? This is like a, a different extension of the fight. Oh, that spinning hook kick. Vicious body kicks. No, no, he wins. Spicy like Thai food. This is 2006? Until in the second round, after a brutal combo to the body, Bukau dropped him on a straight right hand. Bukau took a clean sweep on the cards to make his second K1 tournament final. Right. My bad, my bad. I'm just gonna stop talking because I clearly don't know the information. I'm just gonna listen, sorry, hands, sorry. Bukau had the fastest feet in the East. Oh, this guy again. Yo, and this, yeah, beat him up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I hate those long tights. I don't know what it is. It just triggers me right now. 
Like, I, I still can't believe you have to and make it all the way over round, here after Sauer fighting all those fights. As a ref to complain about a headbutt and got laid out by a brutal overhand left. Oh, he was complaining about a headbutt. Moments later, Sauer tried to punch his way out of a clinch and got brutally decked. Oh again. yeah, here we go, here we go. And that this time by an overhand right and an uppercut. That cut on the freaking cheek, man. Himself, and Andy went down again. Oh. Yeah, the uppercut and then pushed him. Timber! Timber! Mikhail won his second K1 tournament and avenged his loss in the last First two time. First two time. Bukal fought around the world at astonishing frequency. Yeah, that's so many fights too. I still can't believe his record. To volunteer to act as a human heavy bag. The monster of Muay Thai was there. Wow. The durability on these guys is just like, to me, he was very a cool. Star in Thailand, even teaming up with other greats, Cyan Che and Yad Sanke, to star in a pretty solid martial arts movie. In 2011, Bukau returned to Thailand like Caesar from Gaul. After remembering how to elbow against Mikhail Piscatello. Right, because K1, you don't, you don't get the elbow. You lose uh, two of your limbs, huh? So he got those uh, limbs back. Oh, man. Drop the beat now. Bukau takes on Frank Giorgi in the tournament final. Frank Giorgi. Bukau posted a complete technical master class as he took apart the taller fighter. Yeah, he looks thicker, too. I also don't know the weight classes in... Uh in Muay Thai or K1. It always seems like anyone can fight anyone. Bukau won the final in a landslide. Nice. Bra, bra, bra. Oh, I love it. <sighs> Bukau was ping-ponging between pure Muay Thai and the international kickboxing scene. He entered another K1 max tournament. He met David Calvo in the final. David Calvo. This is an experience that Calvo respects his opponent because he is multifaceted. First time he goes to the lever. Right there. It took wow, this is just unreal a fight, and a half man. To drop him with a vicious hook to the liver. David got up and fought his heart his out. Goes back to the same <laughs> Calvo would definitely know that. Oh my. Man, these fights are a lot longer than that other uh, documentary video. Ooh, the live. The liver. Hit the liver. Don't want to live. Meanwhile, back in Thailand, Bukau smashes Abdul Ture to win the WBC oh, yeah. Muay Thai Championship. Jeez. He landed a high kick that put the taller man on unsteady legs. Uh, even the photographer, look at that. My goodness. <gasps> the spinning hook kick. In the second, he dropped Abdul twice with elbows. Huh. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Tough, tough, tough. One final elbow put into sleep. Ooh, how many e? Puff. Puff. Well, what a Pokemon reference in Muay Thai, huh? Because I guess they're anime characters, like Pokemon. But I view them more like Dragon Ball Z. Z Fighters, the Saiyans. Now went back to kickboxing once more to give the world a super fight. A Chinese Wushu champion, Yi Long was setting the world on fire with explosive fights. Wow. 
His unusual style and Whoa, I've never seen him. Iron what? Made him an instant fan favorite. No way, another one that takes the hits to the face, bro? Whoa, I, I don't remember him. Who's he? It was one of the most anticipated matchups in years. Yi Long, and okay. Neither man disappointed. Is he good? It was a wild slugfest. Yi Long charged right in. Later on, even dropped Bukao on a sneaky spinning back fist. Oh, let's but see. Bukao got back to business. Let's see, let's see. I don't know what happens in this one. I haven't seen this fight. Ooh. I like how they can't like ground and pound it. They have to be standing on their feet. Wow. Wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. How do you knock someone out that takes punches to the face for free? Oh, 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 oh. A clear decision win. Yeah, yeah, he got Bambi legs. Wow, was that a great fight? Was that memorable Bukau to you guys? has been retired since 2019. Oh, His official that record I did not has know. him at 229 wins with 23 losses. A great many of these fights took place in one night tournaments. Though his time in the fight game has come to an end, hmm. no modern fighter more evokes the spirit and technique of Muay Thai's past. So he really like carries that culture and that tradition, that spirit of Muay Thai. Yo, great video. I remember seeing the documentary and then it left me with the feeling like I wanted more. I've seen most of this, so I was kind of well aware. I didn't know what to expect if they were going to show a little bit more in depth of the fights or what they were going to show me. Other than that fact of the Yi Long guy, I haven't seen that fight really go by. But another great video just to kind of like cement his dominance. And I just wanted that kind of feeling for more. You know, I just wanted to get that little itch off of me and just see more of him because he really does seem like a really cool fighter. Like Muay Thai is a sport that I never thought that I would fall in love with. It's just so unique. So special because there's no one else that can take that kind of beating and still come back and pretend like nothing happened like the recovery i'm really intrigued i want to see maybe more videos on like the recovery process the trainings the post interviews like how they feel about that to me if someone kicks me by accident in the thigh or anywhere like bone to bone i am like done for the day but this is very interesting i hope you guys enjoy the video hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i, I gotta keep checking out more muay thai i feel like we're gonna be seeing a lot more of these kind of videos on this channel as well as boxing i'm gonna try to balance both both of them but oh man i can't wait to see more but that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it i really appreciate everyone on this on this channel and the journey and supporting me to just keep learning more and more about new sports and new things that i haven't really dived into before but anyways i'll catch you guys on the next one okay cheers for now Peace. Peace.